Hey Eric, what's with the handkerchief? I'm helping my country. Our elected officials recommend face protection, along with social distancing. Hey, you're too close. The only virus you can catch is a computer virus. Oh, so how do I help? Well, start with taking off that stupid mask. It's kind of redundant. Now maybe tell everybody the difference between masks and respirators. Masks and respirators are not the same thing, though both are PPEs, or personal protective equipment. Masks are used to help keep the wearer from spreading contaminants, especially from the spread of large droplets. They can also keep splashes and sprays from reaching the mouth of the wearer. However, they are not sealed and are not designed to prevent the inhalation of airborne contaminants. They do not provide respiratory protection. Well, what about respirators? I'm getting to that, hippie. Respirators are PPEs designed to prevent the exposure to airborne contaminants. They protect against both large and small particles. There are three types, particulate, gas masks, and airline. Like scuba gear? Of course, you idiot. But we are only concerned with the particulate types today. Well, why don't we look at some of them with flare photography? Okay. First, let's look at a bear cough. That's really nasty. Next, let's look at Eric's handkerchief. <coughs> That's pretty nasty too, but it's better. Now let's look at a surgical mask. PM 2.5 pollution respirator. These are used for pollution particles of 2.5 micrometers. Next up is a makeshift mask from a converted exercise mask using a 2.5 micron filter. A HEPA filter might actually be a better choice.
Finally, we have the M95. This is a contractor's version, not a surgical one, but they can be interchanged in an emergency such as a pandemic. They require fit testing, are in short supply, and should be reserved for medical professionals and first responders. The M95 comes with certain variations, like the 8511 that has the cool flow exhalation valve. But no matter what the variation is, if it's designated N95, it's NIOSH approved to filter out with 95% efficiency particles of a certain size. The N designation is for particles above 3 microns, but not containing oil. The 95 means it is capable of eliminating 95% of particles above 3 microns. The coronavirus is 1 micron. Well, if it can't filter out a 1 micron particle, how does it protect against the coronavirus? Because viruses travel in particulate matter, like water, so have a tendency to clump together. However, the virus is not airborne, and it's spread through person-to-person -person contact or through droplets from coughs and sneezes. These droplets are much larger than the 0.1 micron. A properly worn N95 filter can be quite effective. M95s can be particularly effective when combined with bio shields or other devices. Wow, that mask works extremely well, except for the air coming out of that exhalation valve. Hello? Exhalation valve? Or do this principle? You idiot. Now Eric's right, we should have taken into account the Bernoulli principle, which is that in response to a restriction, the airflow will increase in velocity. This is a lot like your water hose, where you put your finger over it and it squirts out faster. You restrict the flow, it will increase in velocity. Now, if you're using a mask that has one of these valves, be a little bit more cautious with your social distancing or tape it up if it doesn't seem to restrict your airflow and make it more difficult for you to breathe. Our final device is a homemade surgical type device made from three layers of cotton. So it seems from our tests that the most effective devices for reducing the spread of the virus are surgical masks and the N95. If your N95 does not have that exhalation valve, or if it has the exhalation valve and you plug up that exhalation valve so you don't get that high velocity spray of air coming out of it. The least effective devices that we had were unquestionably a handkerchief and the makeshift mask we made from an exercise mask that had trouble with the seal around the nose and also had the exhalation valve as well. You idiot. I'm not an idiot. How did you find a mask big enough to fit that huge honker of yours? Hippie. I'm not a hippie. You're old enough to be one. Well, you're a jerk. Pinocchio. Say goodnight, Eric. Goodnight, Eric.